It's like, what's the saying when they say what you put out, what you put in is what you give out? It's the same thing with your skin. So if you're eating McDonald's almost every day and trash almost every day, guess what's going to come out your pores in the back? What's going to come out your pores? You're absolutely correct. What's up, everyone? This is Hawa Bunga. Yes, your African ninja. That is me, Hawa Bunga. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day to look like a snack. To look like this. Not perfect is not where I want to be. I still have a lot of work to do on my body, of course. Um, but it's, you know, it's not bad for someone who's not going to the gym. It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. So what I eat and this is what I do and it works for me and I do not go to the gym. I'm not working out. I'm not doing any of that. Things first, the first thing that I do that is essential it's the biggest part of how I lose weight. It's key. What I do is intermittent fasting. I'm not going to go deep into this topic, um, but if you want to know more information about it, just let me know and I got you. Intermittent fasting is basically when you fast for a, a portion of the day and then you eat for the portion of the day. I personally, I fast for 16 hours and eat for 8 hours. So I will... Stop. My last meal will be at 8 p.m. the night before, and then my next meal will be at like 1 or 2 p.m. the following day. Typically, when I intermittent fast in the morning, I either drink tea, coffee, water with nothing added, and then I'll break my fast around 2 or 1 o'clock with a light snack, and then I'll go from there. So it's really not about what you eat; it's more so about when you eat. So it's it's it's. I'm telling you, if you intermit fast, you will lose weight. You will see a difference. And there's other health benefits. But again, I'm not going to go deep into that thing. You do not have to eat bland as food to lose weight. You don't have to eat grass and lemon juice. Um, you can have tasty meals, um, seasoned meals, meals that taste bomb um and and very filling um for instance like sometimes i do keto keto is one of those things one of those um one of those diets where you can eat almost anything you can eat a lot of food and a lot of things that you like and you will lose weight like chipotle has keto bowls um a lot of fast food restaurants or restaurants in, in general has keto options um so you don't have to work out to lose weight I'm telling you. So I like working out. I personally, I love working out. Well, it's not really the working out part that I love. I love going to the gym. But since we're in quarantine because of the coronavirus, the gyms are closed. I can't go to the gym. But that's what I want to do because that's how I deal with anxiety. That's how I deal with stress. I go to the gym and it's my stress reliever. But I, since I can't go, I just refuse to work out. I don't want to work out in the house. I don't want to work out outside. I want to work out in the gym. But it's a balance. So I have to basically balance. Um, I can't not go to the gym and eat unhealthy. I have to have some type of balance. So I choose to eat healthier options. And this really worked for me, especially after I gave birth. Um, because after you give birth, you know, you can't work out for six to eight weeks. So when I um, got pregnant with my daughter and my son, after I gave birth, I did mostly um, eating healthy balanced meals instead of going to the gym and i lost weight perfectly fine you have to kill yourself in the gym to get skinny because you're gonna go to the gym and you're gonna kill yourself and you're gonna die you're gonna be skinny but you're gonna be dead however comma if the gym open up tomorrow i'm gonna be like i'm i'm gonna be in there like swim well okay Another thing, next thing is eating healthy. This is what I eat to have clear skin. Right now I have on a little bit of makeup, but I have really clear skin right now. And it's because of what I eat. It's like, what's the saying when they say what you put out, what you put in is what you give out. It's the same thing with your skin. 
So if you're eating McDonald's almost every day and trash almost every day, guess what's going to come out your pores in the back? What's going to come out your pores? You're absolutely correct. Oscar the Grouch and Big Macs. That's what's going to be sitting on your skin because you're eating trash. So it's going to come out in your pores. You have to take care of yourself from the inside in order for your body to flourish on the outside. That's why I does what I do. I do what I did. I does this. Before we get into the video, make sure you drink water. I every day, every day. Drink your water. Drink water. Mind your business. Keeps you looking snatched, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you drink water. Not even going to hold you. I recorded this video last week, so I look completely different. I have a completely different hairstyle um, than I did last week when I recorded this video. So please don't come for me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my channel so, like i mentioned earlier in the morning i intermittent fast so i don't really eat anything until like one or two o'clock um sometimes later so i'm going to be making water and tea because that's what i drink throughout the day i mean until the afternoon that will hold me over until it's time to eat This is a whole nother day <laughs> don't judge my knife i'm ghetto whatever um so you know how i made my tea i typically don't put anything in my tea um but if i do want to put something in my tea or coffee like i'm doing right now um i use a sugar replacement so this is a good brand this one is okay this one has a slight aftertaste i got it from amazon but it has a slight aftertaste um, but overall, it's not bad. It don't have any sugar. Well, zero net carbs, though. But, yeah. So, I would say get your hands on something like this if you need some, if you need to sweeten your tea or coffee. So, I was about to make lunch. I was going to make an omelet, but I'm really craving something sweet. And I think, I wanted a smoothie, but I think I want an acai bowl. Either way, I, I don't have fruit, so I have to go to the store to get fruit. So before I can make lunch, brunch, whatever it is, I need to go to the store. Be right back. Oh, I'm just leaving the store. I got a whole bunch of groceries. I went in there for fucking fruit. Be doing myself? See how I be doing myself? Sorry. People got me buying raffles and shit to support my hand sanitizer i've been scratching the balls before he handed that to me i don't know store for one thing or two things ended up with all of this i'm just gonna do like a mini grocery haul this is the water i drink it is the Aquiline um purified water bomb when i need something sweet I drink the Pyrate Zero Sugar. It has zero sugar and it's, you know, tastes that sweet taste. Some juice for the fam. I don't really drink juice, but yeah. Some salt. Mrs. Dash. 
um, lemon pepper, tomatoes, some cheese, some jasmine rice, heavy whipping cream. This is the yogurt that I eat because um, it's dairy free or the almond milk brand is good too. So, vegetable broth, granola, I use, I put granola in my, um, that stuff. Some cheese, types of cheese, um, zucchini or squash, whatever you want to call it. I got this kind because I'm lazy. The energy drink before Deshaun. He asked for Red Bull, but they didn't have any. Spinach. This is what I came to the store to get. Strawberries and blueberries. <laughs> and some bell peppers. Shrimp. Frozen shrimp. Um, potato salad. I just wanted to try it. It's the store bought brand. I don't know. Um, sausages. Food grill. And I also make certain meals with sausages, some chicken breast, some pasta, some chips back there. Don't mind my hand dog. And wine. All right, let's finally get into this acai bowl. To add um, the SIE powder, you can either get SIE packets, which is like a cream paste, or you can get um, a SIE powder like this. I got this off of Amazon and it comes in a powder form. I don't know if you can see that. And I just use like one or two tablespoons of this. your liquid you're going to need some type of liquid sometimes I use coconut water but sometimes I use almond milk I have a little greens in my acai bowl so I do put a little bit of spinach in there God, I forgot to add bananas um I when I buy my bananas that I want to use for smoothies I cut them up and put them in the freezer and frozen bananas is really good for acai bowl. So I'm going to put that in there and then start blending the um, lunch in my bag. So um, pour your acai mixture in the bowl i made a lot and i don't eat that much so i'm not gonna fill it up all the way and then i just add in my strawberries put a little over here i like to when i eat i like to make it look pretty i put my blueberries in like and I love mango so um I put mango in mine favorite part is adding granola I love granola and the texture with the acai bowl makes it perfect like it's so bomb and there you have it I have it my acai bowl y'all about to judge me about what i'm about to eat or what i'm eating for snack but it is what it is it's okay this is what i'm eating for tonight you ready that is a avocado greek salad and the reason why i'm eating an avocado greek salad for a snack is because i'm a salty girl well not figuratively bitch I'm not salty 
how some people really like sweet stuff or crave sweet things and some people really crave salty things well i'm one of those people that crave salty things so i really like french fries and chips and things like that over sweet sweet i crave here and there but not really it's more of salty um so for healthy snacks i'll eat something like kale chips kale chips or i'll eat seaweed or i'll make something like this even though this is gigantic i probably don't eat it all um it's something that will hold me over until dinner it's, it doesn't look too tasty but it's bomb it has avocado um cucumber olives tomatoes um and greek dressing and i also put some pepper in here some red pepper flakes and black pepper i see people put onions in here but i'm not a fan of raw onions so wow that was such a weird transition but hey it's dinner time so we're here so i am making salmon as you can see i'm squeezing fresh lemon juice on it i don't even know if i told y'all what i'm making i am making creamy sun-dried tomato salmon with garlic and then spinach and cauliflower rice on the side so right here, I'm just seasoning my salmon. You pretty much can use e any seasoning that you want. I don't measure it. I just eyeball it. And I promise I'm not putting that much seasoning on there. It may look like it, but it's not. And most of the seasonings that I use are pretty much salt free. Now I'm going to put oil on my pan, get it nice and hot for my salmon. Um, and then I'm going to cook that, um, stir, fry it, I guess that's what it's called. No, pan stir it. I'm going to pan stir the salmon just for a few minutes. I only leave that on there for about five minutes and then I put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. While that's in the oven, I am adding garlic to the pan that I cooked the salmon on. I know this looks disgusting, but trust me, it's bomb. Like this is what brings your food flavor. This is what's gonna bring the sauce flavor by cooking it in the extra juices from the salmon. The sauce, so this is a vegetable stock, you can use chicken stock, and then heavy whipping cream, and then grated Parmesan cheese. I forgot to mention, I did about one cup of each for the liquids to make the sauce. I am adding a few more seasonings to the sauce. You could add any seasonings that you want, um, but this just give it a little bit more flavor. So they like pepper, um, red pepper flakes, and Cajun seasoning. one of the main parts of the dish the sun-dried tomatoes um, this really gives it a nice touch like it's very good the texture and everything's bomb Now I'm making my cauliflower rice. This is the microwavable one. You just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and boom, you have cauliflower rice. Time to make our spinach. I put oil at the bottom of my pan and then I put some salt and pepper and then a little bit of oil on top and basically just let it cook. Don't you guys hate when you make a big ass bag of spinach just for it to be a pinky size, <laughs> it's so annoying. I 
after I took the salmon out the oven, I put it in the pan with the sauce and basically smothered it in the sauce. And here's dinner, salmon, spinach, and cauliflower rice. It's so filling and so good. I hope you like my video of what I eat in the day. Um, I switch up my meals all the time. My food is never boring. I don't eat boring meals. I don't eat the same thing every day. I can't meal prep because I get bored of it after the second day. I mean, teach his own. If you do want to meal prep, that's a good idea because it saves a lot of time. You just get it out the way in the beginning, but it doesn't work for me. Cook or I make, you know, fast, easy, simple meals that's filling fast. I don't eat carrots. I kind of eat. I eat balanced meals basically sometimes it's heavy sometimes it's light but it balances out that's what a balanced meal is it's simple it's easy simple easy realistic and balanced boom the four whatever that was you want to see more videos like this or you want me to touch on intermittent fasting or you want me to touch on keto diet because i'm actually about to get back into keto because i love the results i love how i feel when i'm on keto um so i think i'm actually going to get back into that so if you want to see more if you want me to elaborate more on how keto works or how intermittent fasting works let me know yeah make sure you drink your water make sure you subscribe make sure you like and make sure you comment all right guys